what's up what's up what's up you already know this is peach come on oh this is peach and today we're gonna be in downtown temple now i know some of y'all the first thing y'all looking at is my hair like girl why your hair look like this i still have my braids in for when i pop my wig on i actually have a wig getting cleaned up right now by jt so just excuse that okay don't worry about it worry about yourself i'm happy and Taylor just said it i feel beautiful beautiful i feel beautiful beautiful good night crush my soul crush my soul nothing you can do to me can take away my right to feel beautiful beautiful i was down so long down so long i feel beautiful i feel beautiful baby like my inside feel extremely beautiful I feel if you if you can't handle this this confidence, oh, <laughs> if you can't handle this confidence in this inner beauty on the screen, turn the page. But anyways, this is how I'm rocking today. Yes, I am. Yes, I am, and I feel fine. Okay, we're downtown. I'm gonna show y'all like a little bit of downtown Tampa, what they got going on, and why it's so hard to live here, and why you should not move here. Stop moving here. The natives can barely afford it. I'm gonna be able to afford it soon. You know, because this YouTube channel going to blow up. We're going to blow up. Time to get paid. Blow up like the work. We're going to blow up. But in the meantime, let me move out these people away. They're on their little scooters. They don't need little scooters. We don't want them to fall. In the meantime, everybody moving here. They building all these high rises downtown. Our downtown used to look like flats, like three stories and a couple. Only had about three um, big buildings. But over the past, I'll say the past 10 years, they just been building and building and building more high rises. So our downtown is transforming. I wish I would stop moving here so the rent could go back. Cheap, 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 cheap. And the home ownership can go back. Cheap, 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 cheap. But they keep rising because y'all keep moving here. All right, guys. We are downtown in Tampa. Let me try to cross this street because I can show y'all the library. Hold on. Let me try to run. Go, big girl. Go, big girl. Go, big girl. Go, big girl. Big girl, big girl, big girl. Okay. Big girl, mama, name. Hey. I'm at it. Outside of the John F. Germany Public Library. I've been in this library before. They talk about this library. They boost it up real big. Like it's so nice in the inside, etc., etc., etc. But child, when you go in the inside of here, everything looks so old. I don't know if that's the feel they want to go for. Like they want it to look antique. I don't know if that's what they're trying to do. But yeah, everything here looks so old. I parked in that garage, which is right next to Curtis Hickson Park. So they're like, where you probably park in the garage over here? It, you pay about an hour. You can also park on the street, but I'm not good at parallel parking. How you say it? Parallel parking. I'm not good at that. So that's why. But yeah, this is the library downtown. They do have 3D printing. I've done that with my kids. Yes, I do stuff with my kids. I do stuff with my kids often. So, um, yeah, if you're into 3D printing, you can 3D print at this library for free. You can also pick up um, hotspots. If you don't have internet, you can pick up hotspots from your local libraries, at least in Hillsborough County, you can. And then you'll have internet on the go. And it's free, and you get it for 14 days. Now they're building this high rise over here. It's like a new construction. It looks like it's gonna be expensive. The, Apartments down here are high. Like even this building over here, that's brand new. We'll walk that way. They're expensive. They're like a studio 1600. A three bedroom be anywhere between $3,000 and $6,000. Like who finna pay that much rent? I don't care if I did make a million dollars. I ain't paying that much to rent nobody. Little apartment, baby, not me. Something else they're building right next to the scratch. I'm like, is this gonna be a car apartment complex next to the scratch? It used to be really flat down here. That's the Tampa Bay Times, which is our newspaper. They have these bikes that you can rent, bikes, scooters, etc., all down our downtown area. So you just rent them with the app. One day I'll rent one and show y'all. And they got the bikes you can rent. Hopefully we'll find somebody doing it. They have the bikes you can rent 
in the water the water bikes you can get on like you on a date that's my dream but i can't swim so it scares me but one of these days i'm gonna get the courage to rent one of those bikes and go out there and pedal bike on the water but then i think about i can't swim and what if an alligator like jump jump up and bite my ankle because we got alligators here i ain't never seen them but i know they exist like i don't seen alligators at the zoo you know and at bush gardens but i've never seen like a wild alligator but i know they exist and the fact that they exist that scares me but yeah this got a lot going on y'all a lot of new construction this is the scratch center they have like concerts plays etc the nutcracker we heard mary j blige play here before we wasn't in the field and we was across the street at riverfront park eating us a sandwich mm -hmm. that's what we was doing hello is it safe to like walk this way yeah. all right thank you because they got all this new construction going on child what is this gonna be you know Oh, to the scratch? Oh, wow. So they say this is going to go along with the scratch. The scratch has been looking like this my whole life. Because we used to come down here with the school and watch the Nutcracker every year. That's a boring place to me. I know somebody going to be like, I love the Nutcracker. It's not boring. It's boring to me. I don't like it. And I used to hate having to go. I only went because my mama bought me a Publix Cuban sandwich. But we used to have to go every year and it kind of sucked. We're going to walk this way so we can cross and go down Riverwalk. So you guys can see the other side of Riverwalk. For those of you who are into my Tampa tours, y'all done already seen Riverwalk Park, Waterworks Park. And this is just like the other third park that's on that same little trail. Again, that's the garage I parked in. That's the back of the garage, the back of the library. This new addition to the scratch. That's gonna be crazy. I cannot believe they built it on to the scratch. Typically, you have to park over there in that garage and walk over to the scratch. Child, look at the scratch getting all big time. All right, dear scratch Santa. All right. For the performing arts. One time for the performing arts. Oh, they got an ATM machine down here. They real big time Hollywood. They bought their queen. And you see an ATM machine outside the scratch. You know they big time. Okay, then. So this is the scratch. That's their ticket window. And I hope, you know, that it isn't too jumpy for y'all today. I'm trying my hardest to make sure I'm not moving too fast and I'm being steady. But, shy, she gonna try. She gonna try. Only time will tell once it's edited. Ooh, I see the water taxi. I wanna get on the water taxi so bad. I didn't bring my face mask and I'm not seeing anybody else out here with face masks on. I know somebody gonna ask that. Where's your face mask? Look, do you see a face mask? I'm sure we might find somebody with one, but as of right now, it's a no. It's a nobody. So the bridge we're walking up on, this is a part of Riverwalk. It's not really a bridge. It's like a trail on the water. It's a part of Riverwalk. It's a Riverwalk on this side, cause you know, we done been over there to Riverfront Park. You have these kind of views. This is a drawbridge that can go up. I get nervous when I drive on those. People do ride their boats across the river. We have UT, which is our University of Tampa. It's a really good private college. They're like one of the number one business schools. If not the number one, they're in the top three um, business schools in the country. It's private. The Over here, we have Tampa Preparatory School, which is a private school i think they go from middle to high school if i'm not mistaken and look look at them on their boat is they boat out of gas or something they both need a tune up they both act like they don't want to go all right we're gonna walk this way and this is still the scratch center they have these little um restaurants kind of pop-up restaurants food trucks things Riverwalk Bar at the Scratch. These things do be open like in the afternoon. I don't know if they close due to COVID or it's just not time for them to open yet. Y'all know the early bird gets the worm. Your girl's the early bird. But people come out here and get food while they're out here walking. Oh, look, this is one of my favorite things to do with the kids. This blue thing right here, it's a mallet. You can hit it and make beats. My children love doing this when we here. Let me show y'all. I don't come on this side often because I feel like, oh, they took the mallets off. It's normally some mallets and then you hit these and make beats. We love doing this with our kids. 
Yep, they removed them. But Riverfront Park is my favorite. I've told you guys that numerous times. That's why I do my workouts, well, especially when I'm outside with the trainer. We like to do River Walk, Riverfront Park, which is over there. Just because it's like more covered and more secure versus on this side of the river, it's easier for the kids to run off into the water. So I really don't like to come on this side unless I have the kids stroller. If not, I don't do it. Now we're gonna keep walking this way just because I wanna show y'all the swing that I love to swing at. Hopefully it won't be nobody there and I can give y'all a little sample, a little sample of swinging. But everybody come out here, they um walk, ride bikes, scooters, all kinds of stuff it's a good time i will say i don't see many black people out here utilizing these parks i will say that i know somebody like it's people it's just people no like the projects is not the projects but the low income housing some hood housing apartments is literally across the street and it's full of blacks it's like 92 maybe not even 98 percent black they don't even really come utilize this space i know because i come out here often now you will see black people but not a lot which i still don't understand why they don't come out here i don't know what it is i don't know why but yeah and then you can see the river center from right here the river center if you haven't seen my riverfront park tour the river center is where people keep their um kayaks schools keep their kayaks and you can rent kayaks bring them into the water and have a ball some people pay a monthly fee to store their kayaks at the Tampa Rena, at the Tampa River Center as well. It's hot, so I'm happy I ain't got on a wig today. Cause baby, when I tell you, sister girl is sweating, and if I had on that wig, it'll be a wrap. It's a wrap. Why you wore that wig like that? Yeah, in Florida, it's good to have braids, and it's nice to be natural. But that humidity be drying out your hair, especially when you got hair. Over here we have another bridge that's a drawbridge i don't ever see this bridge go up they say we don't have big ships coming through here so the sh these shouldn't go up anymore but when i was young these used to go up and used to scare the crap out of me i always think i'm gonna be going over the bridge and it's gonna lift up and i'm gonna fall in the water and i can't swim so yeah that was still a phobia that's still a phobia of mine we have the hillsborough river y'all hillsborough river and then next to that bridge is the interstate. That is I-275. You can go to St. Pete. If you go back that way, you're going to St. Pete. And then this way, you can go to Tampa, Orlando, all that. This is my lucky day. I have an empty swing. This is one of my favorite spots to hang out on. So they have these little benches if you want to sit and, you know, just catch you some views. Oh, you can come over here and swing with bae, like they doing. Come swing with bae, have you a good time. I'm gonna sit in the middle, just because it's more shade. Right here, and catch us some swing, swing, swing time. View of the Tampa River Center and of the Hillsboro River. That's River Front Park, Tampa Prep, UT, those are your little views. Down there we have River Walk at waterworks park which i already did a tour of that as well and you have the tampa amateur work center with you ladies and stuff so we're not gonna walk that way we're gonna go back this way and i'm gonna show y'all curtis is swinging your girl is swinging but your girl is swinging and catching her breeze underneath the palm trees and florida and it's free absolutely free and free it's for me oh yeah 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 and well, you can go like fast on here watch Wee! <laughs> so yeah, you can catch you a breeze, see people skateboarding, all this stuff. Like, come outside, enjoy your life. People be like, they never been here. When I be posting stuff, when I do like, come here and I post on my Facebook, people are like, where you at? And I'm like, in Tampa. <laughs> in Tampa is right off the end of the state. How y'all don't be coming here? I don't know. Oh, look, he on the oh. motorboat today. Go ahead. Florida boy stuff. Ooh, get it. Who get it. Get it on the motorboat. He got half the boat up, y'all. He just getting it on the motorboat. I'm going to take y'all to one of our state parks next. 
we took the kids to state parks. We didn't see no alligators hanging out either there. And they're supposed to have a lot of alligators, but we didn't see none. For this spring, right. and I gotta get home and cook lunch. Let's go down to this other end so y'all can see the rest of Riverwalk. So we are back towards the front of this section, walking over to Curtis Hickson. This is that bridge I showed y'all, this old antique bridge. Oh, look y'all, the water taxi. The riverfront water taxi. Well, let's say the river water taxi. I love the water taxi. We took all the kids on there. They be having events and they be having the water taxi for free. But you can also get an annual pass. That's what I need to buy. Cause I love it down here. I hang out here all the time. All right, it's getting loud. I'm gonna turn off the camera and record on the other side. Just so y'all ain't gotta hear all this ruckus twice. Sidewalk closed across here. Cross this that is way. the new temporary crossing where you normally cross over here. I guess this might be the permanent crossing when they're done with the construction. So we're gonna cross right here. Look at the new pavement they're laying down. This is gonna be so cute. That's gonna be so cute. They being all fancy, they using brick. They ain't just doing a regular road, they doing brick. They got money, 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 money. We're going through the temporary crosswalk. At least it's covered, I guess. That's good, so if it rain, you ain't gonna get that wet. Lord knows it be raining. All this construction going on. Tampa gonna look so different when Rona in. When Rona pass, we ain't gonna recognize this city. Mm -hmm. You wanna look at the brothers with the good job. Can y'all see them? They got good job. Now, there comes a time in every YouTuber's life where you gotta decide, are you gonna jaywalk? Or wait, your turn. Cause this car's coming. But it ain't that minute, so we gonna jaywalk. Jaywalk it out, Jay, jaywalk it out. I was that way by the scratch, across right here. This garage right here is where I'm parked. The library is right there. For those of you who knows like that, y'all want the deep by the deep by the detail. There go University of Tampa. Everybody outside today, baby. They got on a hot girl shawl, so okay then. That's why I parked in this garage. And over here we have the Tampa Museum of Arts, which I ain't never been to. I think I went in like elementary school. I haven't been since then. <clears throat> and right next to it, we have Glacier's Children's Museum and I go there often with my kids. The first Tuesday of every month is free. And we take advantage of the free bottle of water. It is so freaking hot. They just steady adding on to this park. This is new, these new stairwells. Normally you have to go that way or walk that way. Now they got these new steps. Okay, Tampa. Come through Tampa, push through, tip, 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 tip through Tampa, tip through Tampa, tip, 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 tip through. Ooh. I guess it's gonna be like a new doggy park. Cause I don't recall ever seeing this. It could have been here, but it hasn't been. I've never seen this and it looked new. It look like new money to me. Tampa, where y'all get all this money from? Where it come from, Tampa? How come I ain't getting none of this new money? all this money and I ain't getting none. What's going on? Straight from there to here because you can't do that right now. Look at UT building new stuff too, child. UT got money, money too. Let me find out y'all doing COVID fraud. Let me find out. All right, y'all. So we on Riverwalk. This is like the first stages of Riverwalk. When they started doing this, they did this side first. So if it look a little old and dated, that is why because they did this first. And like I told you guys in my previous video, we have these statues throughout. The further down this way you go, the more black people you see. Just a hint, hint. You see, who is this? Jeffrey DeVoe Rogers. It said 1905 with no money, G.D. Rogers began his trek from Georgia to Central Florida, walking along the railroad tracks, as it is said, selling railroad ties to buy food in Bradenton. He quickly developed business skills and civic activism. In 1922, Rogers helped create Temple Central Industry Life Company, an agency that sold insurance policies to black. Okay. Let's see, Rogers invested in beach resorts for blacks, established the Negro Business League, and worked for registered voters. Rogers also was a philanth I can't say it, philanthropist. There we go, boom, Philanth <laughs> philanthropist. Perhaps his noteworthy gift was the land for the, a Tampa Park to be used by blacks. What park was that? Today that park, which bears his name, is the historic Rogers Park Golf Course. Oh, my daddy be playing golf there. I didn't know that, I'm 
okay, Mr. Rogers. That I don't be talking to, so don't ask me about a, a bunch of questions about him, but my daddy with all the kids, with the 20 plus kids, he played golf really, really good. And he golfs at um, Roger B Golf Course. I never knew it was named after a black person, but I do recall my daddy telling me like, golf is still a racist sport. And a lot of country clubs won't let black people golf or they want a lot of money. And that was one of the first golf clubs people could golf at. So that's the fun fact, that's something fun to know. Now we have the little playground child. They done added the little covers. So I'm gonna have to bring my kids here. We ain't been here in a while. When we came, they didn't have the little covers to make you not get hot. They got a new swing. Try they showing out. Okay then. These tables look a little new. I ain't see these last time. This is my favorite thing to do. My kids love this thing right here. This wheel right here. I like this. I got on this at the other part with baby. He was so dizzy. This thing right here is a good time. You climb on it and then you spin. Spin it around like that. Maybe about eight kids on it. They be having them a ball. Then the seesaw. Let's get on the seesaw for old time sake. People don't know when you on the seesaw, you're supposed to go, I see you, I saw you, I see you, I saw you, I see you, I saw you. Yes, I see you. I saw you. Yep, she said she didn't know that. I teach my kids about stuff like this. Just like a ring around a rosy, a pocket full of posies. I'll teach y'all where that come from on another video. I wonder if they want to push big girl mama. They want to let big girl mama get in there for the video. Can I get in with y'all? Y'all yeah. can push a fat person. <laughs> They're going to let me get in for the video. I'm just going to watch them. You want to get in? I'll push y'all. Oh. Oh, get in, girl. We're going to push them. Y'all ready? Y'all going on YouTube. That's okay with y'all? Yep. Right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> let me put my phone. Never too old to enjoy the part. I'm pushing one more again because they're having so much fun. We want to go fast, fast. There you go. <laughs> Round and round on the merry-go-round. You're welcome. Y'all, now your girl hot. Work out for the day. I want to show y'all the rest of this part, but I'm going to take me a break. I got to catch my breath. My heart is pounding so heavy. That was my workout for the day. It's like, boom, 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 boom. You need to work out more often. Boom, boom. Get your cardio on. Boom, boom, boom. Wanna be here for the grandkids? What grandkids? I ain't got none. My tw son 12. He been out here none. Hey! So right now I'm parked underneath this tent donated by the Buccaneer Foundation. And it's kind of breezy down here. They need to donate a water fountain. Where's the water fountain? I am thirsty. Oh look, they got the concession stand open. I'm gonna buy me a bottle of water because I might not make it to my car how hot I am after that push of a push and then this man down here shooting a commercial he like he an attorney we're gonna go over there and get the details from him because i love me a man in the suit and then you know we do have a homeless population some of them like chill out down here sleep down here etc but you know life is hard we don't judge them you don't want nobody judging you don't you judge nobody either look at that active father i know that's right active black father let me start recording other folks peaches you cannot be out here just recording folks because you nosy and your youtube subscribers nosy i'm sorry i'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop. i gotta stop recording folks sorry my way to the snacks place they got restrooms on the side and a little snack shop hopefully they ain't high hopefully we can get a bottle of what a oh, bottle what a three three dollars hold on Three dollars for a box. We okay. We not getting nothing from here. No, we not. That's what we not come do. We gonna find us a water fountain. I'm not paying you three dollars for a bottle of water. We not at Bush Gardens or something. Another day, I will take you out further down Riverwalk because this thing can go and go and go. It goes all the way till you get to like the Tampa Convention Center, which is at least a fifteen minute walk. And I'm hot and her water high. I'm not paying no three dollars for no bottled water. This is the Tampa Museum of Art, and this is the Glaciers Children's Museum right here. I've been to this one a lot of times. We go monthly. Oh, Lord Jesus, I'm hot. We got restrooms. They got a park office. They got a bar over there. And then we have our downtown buildings. The thing with these buildings is you see the name on top of the building, and you think the whole building belongs to them, but it don't. They just pay extra money to get their names on top of buildings. Yep, that's a little marketing. A little marketing tip. Let's go get a get an on this man commercial. Let's go be nosy. He look like he a high behind lawyer. What y'all think he do? Let's get a, some of this footage. What y'all think he do? He looking like, don't come over here. Get out my business. Let me get out his business. Be like, don't be recording me. I'm going to sue you. That's how he looks. So we not even going to go Normally, they have 
some um splash things up here like water shoots out from up here but because of covid i guess it's off it's normally fun we'll come here they light up at night time sit out here and eat get sandwiches eat and it's normally more tables but all of that stuff is put up right now and i gotta go because i'm hot i've had a faint i had to get a water out my trunk glaciers children y'all enjoyed this video i might get my workout on when i ain't really want to work out thought this was gonna be a breeze hold on gotta catch my breath oh lord oh lord i'm hot it is hot out here yeah yeah look i get a little glimpse of the inside of the museum they close <clears throat> i hurt y'all who sus can't breathe sus me oxygen i hope y'all enjoyed this video and if you did you know what to do you know what to do hold on we got a loud truck pass coming down here getting their photos that's why they got this stuff like that the scenery it's the views for me a water but that was too high i ain't paying three dollars they got some sodas out here for 75 cents see 75 so we're gonna buy some sodas it's a tough decision but i think i'm gonna go ahead and go with the sprite Ooh. yes oh and it's cold Girl, you don't need to drink soda. Soda bath for you. Girl, this is my life. Let me live it, baby. You watch, I live. Ooh, I like it. Pop this bad boy open. Ooh. Ooh. I needed that. I'm so happy my hoopty got out. Yes. Yes, um. Yes, um. Whew. I'm gonna get in my hoopty and go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, you know what to do. You know what to do. Go ahead and hit a like you like. Hey, hit a like you like. Hit a like you like for your girl. Thanks for watching. Bye. One like, two like, three like, four. Hit a like you like soon as you see my videos. You know your girl funny, yeah, you know your girl dope. If you really like me, why wouldn't you hit it, yo? L to the I K. E Y Bae, hit a lucky like and send that love my way. L to the I K. E Y Bae, hit a lucky like and send that love my way. Light, 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 let's go. Light, 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 light,